STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. Our STEM courses introduced our students to the field of engineering, which allowed them to understand how science, technology, engineering, and math interconnected or overlapped. Through critical thinking and problem solving, our students built machines and created models. All right, um, what we're working with is I'm working with sixth graders and second graders in kindergartens with STEM program. Right now, I got a group of sixth graders in here, and we're doing a uh, one's called Teacher Geek. We're actually making a flag waver project and a rubber band uh, project. And if, if what happens is really STEM is a way, I'm really a reading teacher also. Uh, the students are having to do contextual reading inside of this and informational text. So what happens, even though it looks like we're having fun, we're actually doing a lot of learning also. Okay, Zaid is going to test out his egg drop container, which is supposed to support his egg and prevent it from breaking once it falls. By my ear. Okay, and then just and then when um when you're ready, I'm let ready. him know. He's ready. Try it. Okay, almost. Almost, but what happened? It, it got cracked. It cracked. So what do you have to do now? Okay, you gotta go back to the drawing board. You gotta gotta try something else out, right? Okay. All right. But well, we will see you all. What we're really hoping for is an excitement, an excitement for school, and and really what happens is a desire for project-based learning. Where, where you work on projects and you have to do multiple things inside the classroom instead of just a textbook. Visual drawing, because this is where the engineer is going to take place, um, where you're going to construct how your oven is going to look. So basically you're going to do a little architect, be a little architect at this time and, and, and go in and do a little drawing for me. Uh, construct how you want your oven to look. All right, And then below that picture, even on the back, just go ahead and write a brief paragraph explaining um, the construction of your solar oven. Now, being that you are a seventh grader or going to the eighth grade, either one, uh, we recognize that paragraphs are how many sentences? Five. Five. All right. So let's go ahead and get started so that we can start the construction of our solar. One of the things I really, really like about the camp is this is a, a this is an opportunity for kids to explore and do things without the constraints of standards that have to be met, standardized tests that have to be made, all those things that teachers are always worried about and administration is always worried about, but where we really get to teach children and, and reach them where they need to be reached. And what happens, it's just fun. What happens is learning should be fun, so I'm glad that we're having fun. I think the kids had the opportunity not just to uh, work together, they had the opportunity to use their mind to figure out how to make the machine work, make what part connect to the other part. So I think that's a real positive, let them know they have to think before they do anything. My name is Elijah Fleming, I'm part of the Boys and Men's Group. What we're doing here today is we're going to take to the car, which is a slingshot, and make it hit the marble as the marble translate through the swimming noodle and falls into the cup. Oh, okay. All right, got it. Okay. Got him. Of course, anytime we teach something, we want to make sure that the kids can transfer that knowledge from one content area to another. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so STEM is here, but we just have to... Okay. Do more with it and expand on it. But this okay. is a good start. Fastest, yeah. Is everyone coming up with the same Yeah. Well, we put a book, a book under the own um, track, and then we had lined up the track and put the blocks on the track to keep it holding. Then we put a ball in the car, and then you press the button. You press the button, then it go and hit the ball and go through the cup, and it's a hole at the bottom, and then it knock down the dominoes, then it'll go in the cup. And the paper in there to keep it steady, like keep it inside, instead of bouncing out. So what are you going to do? Go ahead. Show the demonstration. Anyone in? 
Um, they're actually getting um, the ability to work together, which is a, a, a life skill that they will need in the future. They're also learning um, the importance of science as it relates um, to mathematics as well as technology and engineering. I had Jaden last year in a project, so what happens, that was actually good. In fact, he jumped on the chance to come do it again. Okay. Um, but really what happens with a lot of these students is I'm hoping to spark an interest that they're going to use that to, as, a, as a seed to grow. Um, the, the industry world that we're living in now, industry wants people that can think, that can solve problems, and, and, and are good, good workers that can work in teams. And by doing this, I'm hoping to extend that out into, into that. And I'll be honest, and it's all selfish too. Then when I get them in high school, they're already going to have some skills. <laughs>